Welcome to www.westsideautopros.com. Today's topic, a look at some common cooling system failures. Your cooling system is very important to the proper function of your engine. It helps to make sure that the engine will be able to run properly at any given time. It also helps to make sure that the engine simply does not catch on fire. With such an important system, it would seem that we would have a better idea of how it works. Still, the majority of people do not understand this system. This means they do not understand what they can be doing to make sure that the cooling system will work properly. The more you know, the longer you will be able to guarantee that you will have a smooth running car. Check your cooling fluids. The first line of defense for any cooling system is the cooling fluids. One reason for common cooling system failures is because the fluid is not being changed out regularly. While it does not need to be changed out as regularly as the oil, this is one of the essential fluids in your car. You will need to make sure that it's being changed out at least every 10,000 miles. This will help to make sure that the system will continue to work properly when you need it to. Another of the common cooling system failures as they pertain to the fluid level is simply checking the fluid itself. Make sure that whenever you change the oil that you are checking the levels of the coolant fluid. This is important so that you'll be able to make sure that there's enough fluid in the car to keep your system working properly. Simply pop the top on the system when the engine is cool and make sure that you are at the correct level. It's that easy. If you need more fluid, top it off. Do not use water. Everyone sees the old movies where people pump water into their engine to cool it down. This is one of the common cooling system failures because the engines cannot be cooled by water anymore. The engines run hotter and will burn right through the water if you put it into your system. This is why you will need to make sure that you are using the right coolant for your car system. This is intensely important so that your system will not simply lock up. The system running too hot will cause many different problems in your car. Check your belts. Another of the common cooling system failures that you might have a problem with is a bad serpentine belt. This is a problem because the belt is responsible for running the pumps, which will help to distribute the coolant throughout the engine. If the belt breaks or slips, you'll run into many different problems. This is just one of the reasons why you should always get the belts checked whenever you get an oil change or engine service of any kind. To find out more information on topics like this, go to www.westsideautopros.com.